Can you spot the difference between these two character designs? So X-Men 97 animators wanted to make the new series look just like the 90s show. So this is Amelia Vidal, the lead character designer for X-Men 97, who first started out working at Marvel on their What If series. And when she got the chance to pitch her take on the X-Men, she jumped at the opportunity. You see, she was a big X-Men fan. She grew up in Argentina, and the original show was her introduction to the world of Marvel Comics. I found this interview with some of the artists and producers behind the original show, talking about their experiences working on it. I'm gonna sprinkle in some of their commentary as well. If you wanna see their full video though, check it out in the description. Basically, when the Art of X-Men book came out, all of some of the old crew, the directors, the writers, all got together to discuss their experiences. So drawing from her fond memories of the series, Amelia Vidal impressed the team at Marvel. Okay, so look at these drawings here. These are some of the early designs Vidal did for fun. I think it probably gives a taste of what her pitch might have looked like. They look awesome, but they aren't the final redesigns though. The creative team wanted to keep the style as true as possible to the original, and the original series was based heavily on the comic books. One of the things that we really were striving for in, in producing this series was keeping it, the look of it as close to the comic book as possible. Um, there isn't a studio overseas that's worked with something as complicated as these characters all in mass and um, we worked to give them as many details as possible. Um, little nuances of lines, thicknesses, um, you know, details, depth, anything that we could think of to help them translate these uh, drawings into animated beings. And I, I gotta hand it to the, to the artistic crew because you know, they spent hundreds and hundreds of hours detailing things that we wouldn't normally have had to do in any other animated series. And I think that that's one of the things that um, kept the integrity of the property together. So they use the old show as a starting point, Vidal explains. The designs of the original series are closely tied to a comic book style and translated into animation. The use of light and shadows, proportions, and design elements that were very present in the comics of the 90s, like strong colors, large detailed hair, and of course the iconic character costumes. I adore the X-Men costumes from the 90s, and I believe that when something is so iconic and loved by everyone, it must be preserved and protected. So they used the old show as a starting point, but they had to upgrade the characters to fit the new show's story and production needs. One of the biggest challenges with the original show is that the characters were too detailed. They were so hard to animate, which led to a lot of problems. We were looking for a, a true comic book put on screen. It worked most of the time, not every time, because all this detail gets kind of in the way of some of the animation. I want to give a shout out to 21 Draw. If you don't know, 21 Draw offers online courses and books on how to be a better artist for students at all skill levels. And all their courses are taught by some of the best artists in the world. You can take classes on character design, animation, background design, even promoting your stuff on social media. It's fantastic. As of right now, they're currently running a sale where you get a whopping 75% off an annual membership. And in an annual membership, you get access to all 35 plus courses, almost 900 lessons, and they're adding new courses every single month. So check out 21 Draw with the link below to help support the channel. So as you can see, this was a ton of work for the animators. And something you have to keep in mind is that all of this stuff was going on, all these detailed drawings, you know, all these details and the character designs themselves, plus this huge cast of characters. But this was all hand drawn. We got to remind people occasionally, <laughs> this is a while ago before computer animation was a thing. So everything was drawn by hand. And this is the color palette. You didn't have the luxury of going infinity color palette by using a computer screen. You had to call out each individual color. All of this was all happening in the 1990s when there was no computer technology. So this was all done on paper. It was all done by hand, which makes everything even more impressive if you ask me. In order to get around these kind of complex character designs, the animation team had to really plan their shots and figure out what exactly would and wouldn't be moving in a particular scene. Turns out they actually used the old Johnny Quest show as inspiration. Was that we both grew up with Johnny Quest, with uh, Doug Wildey. And one of the things he did to make the show work really well is that he didn't have a lot of animation, but man, those, those pictures looked so good on TV. You didn't mind that they didn't move a lot. And a little bit of that logic I tried to put into the show of um, trying to maybe minimize the movement but try and maximize how good everything looked 
and that way we were able to get a lot of detail into the characters you know like like the guy sinister who's got he's got lines all over the place mm. he's got this rooster tail rooster tail cape and um, i wanted to keep all the detail but i didn't want him to move so I, I i i would revise the storyboard to make more like dracula like coming in and out of the black like this and also when he talked you cut to someone else talking when you cut back to him he's over there or then when you cut back to him he's over there and then when he has this maniac maniacal laugh it would just you know go back into black and so there were things like that that i tried to i was inspired by you know the doug wildy approach to making the shows look good to try and maximize our budget and still make the make the show look like a uh, a living comic book here are the original designs and here are the new ones vidal wanted to simplify the characters to help the animation process, but ran into another problem. If you simplify the characters too much, they lose their iconic look, as she explains it. From the beginning, I knew it was a 2D show, and I designed with that set in mind. In 2D, the more simplified the design, the easier it would be to animate. But due to its closeness to the original show and comic's origin, simplifying them too much was not an option, because I wanted them to maintain the design spirit of the original. I wanted them to work well in animation as best as possible, while keeping the same out outfits, making them look anatomically correct with their complex hairstyle like the original show. To preserve all of that, we organized a set of good practices on how to draw anatomy and to organize the hair into a number of large masses and small hairlines inside, stressing shapes to give volume in certain ways. Fabrics were addressed too. For example, the shiny spandex suits that Cyclops wears. We used black tones to reinforce his anatomy and position in a precise way to be able to move him and make him look consistent. A lot of times in animation, the little details go a long way. When redesigning the characters for X-Men 97, Amelia Vidal wanted to impress X-Men fans like herself. So then she had to ask herself these important questions like, what can I add to the design so the characters look cool and move good? Or what can we add or remove? What can we keep and protect? What can we do? to make a real upgrade. So I was too young to watch the original series, but researching both the new show and the old show has been super fun. If you wanna see more character design videos, check out this one. We learned the inspiration behind one of Disney Animation's best character designs. So Disney tries to make sure that all their movies look different. Bambi looks different from Cinderella, which looks different from Tangled, which looks different from Frozen. Well, uh, maybe not. <laughs> anyway, Hercules is really special because it's based on ancient Greece. Check that out and I'll see you guys in the next video.